Okay, so I'm just going to give you a quick tour of my little house and how that works. So here we've got my desk where I work and my printer which I cover up with a cloth because the cat sits on it all the time. And, and here's, here's my wee kitchen which I really really love my little wee kitchen does everything I need it to. I've got a stove and an oven and a sink and over there I've got my good grunty blender because I like making things in that. So where I'm parked is at this lovely place and I have loads and loads of neighbours because I didn't know there was a big fifth wheeler rally happening there here this weekend so you can only see some of them but there's certainly loads of them parked here so it's really quite busy <laughs> which I wasn't expecting to ever happen but it's okay so they're all pretty nice people and there's Miss Fiends she's off for a little evening stroll which is a KDLC 5 Bedford which is at the moment storing um, some firewood too I often store stuff in my can and yeah my secondary transportation which is my push bike <laughs> the cab's really a bit dusty and dirty at the moment so here we've got the other side So yeah, that's my home, where, I'm stay, where I live, and yeah, this is the neighbourhood, which is pretty, pretty busy, and there's some pretty amazing looking flash new rigs here and all of these fifth wheelers, they certainly have all the bells and whistles, and strangely enough, power lines up there I'm not sure if you can see them they're actually really buzzing and humming which I don't like very much it always makes me feel a bit weird when they do that um, I just don't know if that's such a cool thing so this is the back of my truck and that is a fold down deck so the wooden bit folds down then there's a roof that pops up and it's got sides that pop up so everything folds and pops so when I fix one of the poles which broke I'll be able to use that again too which would be really lovely at the moment I need a long piece of manuka to fix that broken pole and I also of course carry a ladder it's a fold up ladder and it's super handy and it so that's one of my favourite bits it's my beautiful window made by a lovely woman called Lisa from the South Island her partner helped me with some things on my truck and wouldn't accept anything for it so I decided I'd buy that window off here so yeah and that lamp does absolutely nothing but I really like it so it's there it doesn't actually go that beautiful little corner thing I've got one on each side both of them were made for me by a lovely man called Len down there where Mrs Cat is hanging out is my fresh water and my grey water tank so those are pretty important the front one's the grey water and the back one's the fresh water and they're both about 370 litres which is really really handy so my TV's going because I was busy watching YouTube before I did this. So yeah, now they've got some lovely pictures. Shiva hangs on my wall because he reminds me of my dad. There's a picture of my mum reading her poetry out and some house trucks at Botuika. And 
up there. This is kind of my special little area. I've got um, the wolf picture, which I like, but I've also got a few treasures up there, like my beautiful selenite, which I love. And the medicine drum, I used to make those and sell them. <laughs> that was one of my interesting hobbies, but it's a bit hard to do in a house truck because they smell really bad when you do them. So yeah, there's my fireplace, so that's my heating. Um, my door's really clever too. Because that, so you've got a bit of privacy and... Um, yeah but can still have the air come in so yeah so that's a little wee tour of my house and those cabinets I really really love and I just absolutely adore all the timber in here it's absolutely brilliant so yeah and some things just twist around when you're um driving so then up there is where I sleep behind that wall is my toilet and shower and yeah my steps are really clever too i really love my steps um they're also cupboards so that is really really useful everything has more than one use and the whole place is kind of filled up with all sorts of nicky nacky treasures that people have given me or i've collected like that piece of wood there on my way up into the loft that's from a beach in Taranaki and I just polished it up and put it there. It doesn't actually, it's not there for structural purposes, I just liked it. So yeah, and there's a bit more driftwood here. I do like driftwood, I think driftwood's awesome. It's really, really beautiful. And yes, one of my old candle holders and I used to use a lot of candles in here. But I don't so much anymore because I've got much, much better solar now and lighting's more efficient. So, and I did actually nearly burn my truck down with a candle one night. So, I use them now more for mood lighting when I really feel like it. So, yeah, that's a little tour of my house.